Scott. Matthew 25 Ministries in Blue Ashes gearing up for Hurricane Matthew in case the storm does hit Florida and the Carolinas. And as Local 12's Joe Webb tells us, they already have people working the problem in Haiti and here at home. A small army of volunteers was sorting clothes, pairing shoes and loading trucks at Matthew 25 Ministries this morning. Some is headed to flood victims in the deep south, but they know a lot of this stuff and more will be needed for Hurricane Matthew. We need everything from personal care, cleaning supplies, first aid. You know, we kind of say if you use it on a daily basis, we take that. Uh, so any of those types of items, you can go to our website at m25m.org and look at the different items we have listed. Longtime staff member Mary Lee Burgess knows one specific item that will be in demand after Hurricane Matthew blows through Haiti. These are bag mats made out of plastic bags. We have many wonderful volunteers who do this for us. These mats will go to Haiti. They'll go in their houses. All you have to do to clean them is put a hose on them and wash them down. Valuable because of the island's deforestation, Haiti is prone to flash flooding. Matthew 25 relies heavily on its volunteers. This is a group of retired school teachers who come here and volunteer every Tuesday. But in Haiti, the island has been ravaged by natural disasters so many times, Matthew 25 has full-time staff there year-round. 23 Haitian staffers on the ministry's payroll are riding out the storm just north of Port-au-Prince. They run a hotel for missionaries and support an orphanage in Haiti. Right now they're on lockdown, but after the storm kind of moves um, a little bit north, they're, they're going to go check all of our different partners. And they know that that's when the real work begins, but not without support from Cincinnati. Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Tim Meddy says his staff is watching the radar closely to see where Hurricane Matthew may hit after Haiti, and they'll be ready if it lands on the southeast coast.